Good morning guys from our next video here in Petra, Jordan with my bro Harry. Salam alaikum. Uh, that Arabic's coming along pretty nicely. If you've been following him since the first couple Jordan videos, he's making some major improvement. Kifak. Kifak. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we lost him. We lost him there. So in the last video, guys, we showed you a $20 path to get up to a nice viewing point of Petra. I wouldn't say it's secretive, but it felt a little secretive because it's somewhat off the beaten path. You got to do some serious hiking to get up there. So if you guys missed that video, definitely uh, check out the link in the description below. Now, Harry and I are actually going to be exploring more of Petra. Probably the treasury is what you saw in the last video is what it's most well known for, but it's actually a massive, massive set of cliffs and caves and carvings all over. So we really didn't do that much research besides taking a look at a map and pointing out a few things we wanted to see. So it's going to be just as much of an adventure for us as it is for you guys because we have no idea what we're about to get into. So we are arriving to I think what used to be some sort of stadium over here and you got some guys uh, over here yelling at us because you got a few different options to uh, get around this place. Salam alaikum khaye. And uh, you got horse rides, you got donkey rides, you got a little bit of everything. Personally for me, I don't usually take the uh, animal rides around these places because you just never know how the animals are treated. But anyways, I'm still just sharing with you guys what I see as I walk past here. So we've got a few different ways we can go from here. We can go and explore the stadium. We can go look at these, looks like old Bedouin houses, maybe if I were to guess. We don't have a tour guide, so Harry and I are just using our imaginations to try and figure out what it might be. Oh no, bro. I think I found where we should go. What? Look at right up there. What? Some sort of like carving directly out of the side with an easier hike. That one looks like we're going all the way to the top if we, uh, if we go this way. What do you think? Yalabina. Yalabina? Oh, look at that Arabic coming out. There we go, there we go. All right, we got the next climb coming up here. We're doing some serious mountain climbing in these videos. Oh, it's a bit slippery, so make sure you're wearing shoes with grips. My shoes actually have absolutely no grip. They're just flat bottoms, so I'm uh, experiencing, oh, a slide, whoa, just like that one, almost fell off the side of the mountain. Don't want to die here at Petra, inshallah, I won't. All right. Oh yeah, we're getting some actual stairs right here. Guys, we found a little Bedouin entrance here. I think it looks sketchy, so let's go in. Hello! Hello! Bedouins! The Emperor has arrived! We come in peace. Not much going on in here except a dank little cave. We're making it to the top of the hill here. Now you can really see how far this whole area spreads. It's truly just like a massive, massive old city that dates back how many years? You got tea over there, Chaye? What? Good tea? Zane tea? Zainti, Yalabina, we're coming for tea. Habibi, Kalagzo. Tea, bro? Yeah, bro. Let's get it. Uh, we're getting Bedouin tea, guys. At first, I was like, ah, they're calling us over to do something. And then when they said tea, I said, Yalla. All right. Tea time for the boys. Let's see, we're gonna hike on over. We're gonna find our way down. Back in the mountains climbing. Boom. Boom. Oh, a little staircase over here. That makes it a bit easier. And we're getting close. Wow. Just absolutely mind-blowing to imagine this place. It used to be a pretty huge city way back in the day. All these different caves were houses. Just imagine like living here. You wake up every day and you honestly feel like you're on Mars. Well, for them, it just felt like they were in Jordan. But uh, for me, I feel like on Mars, so waking up there. Hello, Kifik. How are you? hal, Inta? Inti? Alhamdulillah. Tamam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's perfect. What are your guys' names? Rashid. Rashid? Rashid Rashid. Kifak. Nice to meet you. 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 Hello. What's your name? Hadiya. Hadiya? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Hadiya. Nice to meet you too. And you're making the good tea back here, eh? Yeah. Oh, Bedouin tea. Yeah. The best type of tea possible, yes? Yeah. Mm, that's smelling good. It smells like a little bonfire. I'm from the United States. He's from the United Kingdom. Welcome. Shukran, shukran. Tea? Mm -hmm. tea. Good smelling tea. Ah. Tea and coffee. Ah. Are you a Bedouin? Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, coffee too? Yeah, we do uh, coffee with cardamom in the fire. Ooh. Wow. Natural tea. Let's, uh, let's try one out then. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Have a set to try it. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll take a seat over here. Oh, oh, that's hot tea. Oh, that's too hot to oh. I don't have Bedouin fingers yet. All right, we've cooled down enough to uh, enjoy a little sip ski here. Ah, 
That is good. Let's do tea with a view. This is uh, Rashid's recommendation, yeah? He says, uh, grab the Bedouin tea, grab yourself, and uh, walk over to the cliffs as you look over. Wow, you can see views of the stadium down there. Stunning, stunning. And then over here, oh, you gotta watch your step when you're walking over here, otherwise that tea's gonna end up on the ground. Tea in the Bedouin village, hello! Ah, you're looking at the new Bedouin emperor. <laughs> I fit in as a Bedouin, don't I? Yeah? Rashid, what do we call the Bedouin? Soft like sand? Bedouin, strong like a desert, soft like a sand, move like a wind, free forever. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Kesak, Kesak. Kesak, Kesakewatan. Kesakewatan. Kesakewatan is mean life. Yeah, to life. Yeah. Link the life. Bring the human. Perfect. Inshallah. Shukran, khaye, khaye. Shukran. Hi. Well, keep it. Man. Thank you. Shukran. You're welcome. And uh, we will see you guys. Uh, we'll nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Good Thank you. From here. Down from here is the, the way to go, yeah? Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. So, guys, that was a pretty cool experience. We met some, uh, you know, nice people here that sell tea, have a nice little gift shop up here. They were really cool, like really nice Bedouin people, great English gave us some insights about this place and they invited us to come stay overnight in the cave. So I hope we can, I don't know if we will yet because we're on a pretty tight schedule as we travel through Petra. Like it would be such an amazing experience to stay overnight in the cave, have some food over there, but I'm not sure that we can squeeze it in. So stay tuned, maybe we will, maybe we won't, but either way, we'll have a lot more videos coming out. So let's go ahead and keep exploring this place. Oh, we got some Jordanian traffic coming through. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Kifa Akhaye. Marhaba. No. He wasn't as friendly as the other ones. He just stared me down. But he dropped the marhaba at the end, which means hello. We're walking past some places here. I must say, I'm a little surprised. Ah, here, there's the, there's the fact. I was like, wow, there's Heineken out here in the middle, but we looked a little closer. 0.0%. Nice little shops along the way though. That's the good part. If you don't have any drinks with you, they'll take care of you. Can I see the goat? Yeah, thank you. Wow, this, this goat's packing some, <laughs> some, some serious heat. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, this one must be the, uh, the king, the Malik. Looks like it's chow time in here. Everyone's chowing down on some good stuff. Are you the, uh, can we pass? Shall we pass? <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, some nice stuff. This is Olan. Oh, nice. What's your name? Argila. Argila? Argila. Argila? So, nice to meet you. How much for the gold camel? Three. Three? How about one? No, a stone one dinner. It's a stone one dinner. Oh, stone one dinner. No, stone one dinner. Mm mm. How about for the smaller silver camel? Three. Three for this one and this one. This is a three three. <laughs> and then this one? Three. Ah, oh, they're all three. Oh. How much we took? Oh, those are expensive. Oh, what's going on over here? Whoa, she's throwing rocks at him. What's going on over here? I don't know if I can buy now because we're throwing rocks at the goats. The rocks being thrown at the goats. Goats with the goats. No like. 500, 500 to buy the goat? Ah, five, five million. Five million. Ah, there he is. He came back. How are you? Never been better, and you? Still alive without wife. And still lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much yeah. your brass? I was, I was thinking one dinar. Start <laughs> one dinar. Are you going to throw the rock at me now? Same fun. I was gonna buy them, but then the rocks got thrown. That one's named Bob Marley? Shakira. Oh, we have Shakira here? Shakira. What's your donkey's name? Bob Marley. Uh, Bob Marley. That's... Oh, wow. Lost, we'll see you in the next one. We're on the hunt to find a place to get some grub. A little grub. What do you call it in UK? Um, scran. Scran. Like, make like an egg and scram? No, egg with an egg and scram. Oh, scram, scram. Yeah, we're looking for some scram right now. 
<laughs> Actually, only Northerners say that, uh, so really? I wouldn't really say it. But <laughs> yeah, we're looking for chow, scram, grub, something dank. We got views here leading up to the restaurant. All right, the Basin Restaurant. Oh, what do we got here? Good Bedouin drinks here, eh? Yeah, exactly what I wanted to. You best believe I'm getting a Petra beer. <laughs> I'm, I'm British. Oh, today? Right? Yeah, yeah. It's, what is it, Saturday today? So today's definitely a day to drink beer during the day. Hey! You guys open? You're open? Are you guys open for food? Over there? All right. Point is over here. I'm not entirely certain what he meant. Hmm. Oh, yeah, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Perfect. Perfect. You have food now? Food, I need half hour. Half hour. Half hour. Right. Because this is the important. Oh, oh, yeah. Should we get some today? beers? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Mumkin Azbak, Snen, uh, Petra Beer, Amol Maruf. Amol Maruf. Okay. Uh, you you know, understand my Arabic uh, or no? Yeah, of course, I I understand you. And it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, very cool. It's a Leban Lebanese Arabic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need uh, anything more? I think we'll start out with this until Omar. You tell us when we can get the food. Yeah, it's okay. If you want a food, maximum half uh, hours uh, will be there. All over. Perfect. How much? Twelve point four seven. Sweet. You got a glass back there, Omar? Of course. I give you call the glass. Habibi. No worries. Habibi Arabe. All right, this is looking pretty good. 5%. Let's get us a little buzz going while we explore the rest of this place. Omar, shukran. Have a nice time, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do this. Nice cold glass from Omar. Nice cerveza. Let's see how nice that pour is going to be looking. Oh, yeah. That's an English pour right there, if you ask me. Ooh, that's a big head, mate. <laughs> oh, oh man. Jesus. You... I got a little too excited on that one. You butchered that. That's an English pour, right? <laughs> in England, like, you should have, yeah, like, yeah, a 10% head. Yeah, same in the U.S. That was a poor pour. Oh. Mmm. Uh, a Petra beer is nice. It's a lager. Since 1964, they've been brewing for a couple of years now. Yeah, I've done the same. Uh, he's got the English pour, too. I never worked in a bar, so not being the best pourer. Me neither. Oh, I got something in my beer already. Cheers, cheers. bro. Cheers. Kesak. That's how you say cheers in Arabic. Kesak. Ah, that is nice. Mm. All right, after a quick little beer, it's time to uh, see if we can get some food. Oh, yeah, these guys are eating. I think that means we are going to be, too. Let's see here. Omar, oh. we're back. Good, good. You need so, food now? Yeah, what's the deal with the food here? Of course, you have buffet. Yeah. Buffet, what's the price? Yeah, 17 dinner drink, excellent. Oh, okay, 17 dinner. Yeah, I have big Perfect, perfect. Well, I think it's time to chow then. Yeah, yeah. Get some scram going. All right, let's let's load this thing up. Got a plate. Let's see, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go uh, straight to the stuff that I want. I'll probably get one of these pickles. Toss that baby on there. Get a little rice on there. Get a little beef in there. Oh, that's some good looking beef. Leave that open for you. Oh, and as we had yesterday. All right, how do we do this? All right, so we just lift her up. Get a nice little hefty scoop right there. Whoops, missed that. And fish filet. I'll probably skip the fish today. Get a little pasta on there. All right, all right. I'm sold. We'll do some pasta. Oh, there's some cheese in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Get in my belly. And we'll save the desserts for a little bit later. I'd say that's a good starter. Got a spot for us, Omar? Thank you, thank you. Oh, perfect, thank you. We need some drinks or anything? Let me wait for Harry. That's yeah. your time. If thank you. So we're gonna try a meal out here in Petra. Looks pretty good. Maybe do a little hand sanitizer because I do have some dirt on my hands. Clean them up a bit. There we go. Now we'll try the beef out here. Start out. Mm. Mm -hmm. So they open here at 11:30, which is why we're just eating now. But the good news is, whenever you come to a buffet, we had no intentions to. We just showed up here this early. Then you get it as fresh as it gets. Mm. That's the traditional Jordanian food. This time they put another type of nut. It almost looks like raisins, but a different color. I don't actually know what those are. Good flavor. 
Mm -hmm. And the chicken. Mm, that is nice. Mm. That is good. And this bite will do a little rice and beef. Mm, mm, mm. I'm digging it. Try out the pasta here. Mm. Oh yeah, much needed, much needed. Mixing everything together here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the meal was uh, quite good. One plate was enough for me. The place is really starting to pop off right now. Now I gotta try some of the uh, dessert that our guy recommended us. It's called Kamali. It looks quite good. I'm gonna find a plate first. And guys, we found a plate. Now I'm getting the big plate. I guess for dessert. Well, why not, right? I think the only thing that I want is. Uh, oh, I guess I'm getting in line over here. That's a good looking chow. Grab one of these little chocolate bites right here. That'll be good. And then I'm gonna get the traditional one down here. Um Ali. I have no clue what's in it, but I guess we'll find out if it's good. Oh, it smells kind of like it's got maybe some cinnamon in it. Maybe like a hot bread pudding, I would say. So this is like a Bedouin dessert. I think that's all I need for dessert. All right, so we got a little dessert today. Figure I gotta wash the waste. I'm burning all those calories. I don't wanna take them all back right now. Mm, smells good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, let's try it out. I think it's like bread pudding, but it's the Bedouin version. It was a brownie. Uh, I thought it was a brownie, but it's some sort of chocolate mousse thing. Let's do a bite side. Mm. Looked better than it tasted. Some sort of mousse. Not really much my type of thing, but let's try out the uh, traditional thing. Personally, I don't like soggy stuff, so I probably won't love this. Kind of tastes like a creamy cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. It almost tastes like soggy French toast. I think some people would like that a lot. It's fresh. It's got a cinnamon taste to it. It's got the bread pudding mix into it. But generally speaking, like I was saying, it's not really as much my type. But um, yeah, for being right here in Atra, you can pay about 17 JOD, and that gets you an unlimited buffet. So especially after all this walking, it might be a good spot for you guys to stop and enjoy a meal, get some extra energy before you continue walking around this massive place. So we'll go ahead and pay, and we'll call that a day. Let's see how Harry likes the bread pudding. Mm. Well, it's not bread pudding, but it's the uh, Bedouin version, but I call it bread pudding because it tastes similar. No, I like it. It's good? Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. called uh, Um Ali. Um yes. Ali, that's right, that's right. Really, um really Ali. good. Kind of yeah, melts yeah. in your mouth. Yeah, it's kind of like a cinnamon toast crunch, right? Mm, yeah, very similar. similar. Some normal, not Jordanian desserts, but uh, they are yeah. very, also very good. Yeah, hitting the spot. Yeah, I had that chocolate one and I was a bit underwhelmed. Oh, really? You're pulling out. This one. Yeah. I think we've walked a lot, so we deserve these. Oh, no doubt, oh, no God. doubt. Messed up already. Yeah, that thing's flying all over. <laughs> that thing's got a mind of its own. Yeah. Not as good as the others. Uh, it just gets the job done, basically. <laughs> uh, Omar? Yes. Sorry, Mumkin Azbak has said Omar Maru. Habibi. Everything good? It's delicious, Amazing. Omar. Yeah, we okay. Have a nice time. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah. All right. About $23 for a quick buffet meal. For sure one of the more expensive ones we've had, but when you don't have many options, you gotta go with whatever options are in front of you. Now we're gonna walk back and cruise this way. What's going on over here? Jeez, <laughs> that's a donkey car alarm, I guess. You win the camel? No, no camel for me, Chaye. Guys, make sure you have your walking shoes ready when you're exploring this place. We've already put on probably like 13,000 steps and we've only seen just a small percentage of this place. That's what happens when you start at 5.50 a.m. We're gonna need a little break in between though before we keep exploring this place because the energy levels, especially after having a nice beer, are worn down a bit. We're back where our friends were up at the top of this, uh, one of these mountaintops. Oh, there they are. There's our friends up there. I think they're looking down at us. Oh, this time we're not doing the, the harder hike. We're gonna do the uh, walk around it. Whew. Yeah, definitely gonna solid work out it, and that's for sure. Salam alaikum. Oh, we got an unhappy camel right here. Oh, and they got a sig in the mouth. <laughs> oh, that one's that one's angry. <laughs> oh, I want I want the one that's got some uh, anger. I feel like we always come at the right time <laughs> when we're seeing something go down. Oh, the camel's changing his mind. Oh, oh. He's not too happy. Full speed ahead. That's rush hour traffic. 
<laughs> oh, going through these caves never gets old. They're so stunning. Not even caves, cliffs, passageways through here. It's incredible. But we are probably like 20 minutes away from getting back to the entrance, so we're making some good progress here. Hello, Slate, Keyfog. We got the guards watching the place. They didn't seem like they wanted to be filmed though, so we'll keep it moving. As you can see, guys, we got one group there. Got another group there. The place is really starting to fill up with lots and lots and lots of tourists. And this is during a pandemic too, so if you rewind back to way before those days, it's probably way crazier than that. So if you can make it here early, that's definitely the move. We've already seen everything. And honestly, when we came there earlier this morning, it was lit up in such a beautiful way where everything was kind of glowing from the morning sun. Obviously, it's still incredible right now too. But uh, you know, those golden hours, add a bit of beauty to this amazing planet. So we're almost back to the spot. Hello, thank you. All right, we just made it back to the entrance and clocked a solid 16.5 thousand steps. So I'd say that's pretty good. It doesn't include incline decline walking either. Much needed workout and the day's still young. But I think we're gonna go back to the crib, take a little nap before we show you any more of the Petra area. Cause we are tired after waking up at like 5.50 a.m. got here at like 7.30. Yeah, we'll see you after. All right guys, fast forward a couple hours later. Luckily we got a solid nap in. Dozed off for about an hour and 30 minutes and I never ever take naps. So that's how you know I was super, super tired. But now we're going to a little restaurant and cafe, get a coffee going over here at Bahia Rooftop. I guess we'll see. Oh, it's, it's known for backpackers. Free Wi-Fi, roof terrace. Oh, salam alaikum. Habibi, Khalajo. Yeah, shukran, shukran. Uh, Bahia? Uh, Zain, Zain Shisha, Zain Coffee? Shisha, coffee, beer, everything. Ah, Habibi. That's a good sound. They've got everything we need. All right. Kifak. Oh, good uh, Shisha here, good uh, coffee. Yeah. Salam alaikum. All right, perfect. Is a uh, good Wi Fi? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right. Looks like we're going to be chilling here for a bit. Some nice views of the city. Probably should have came like a couple hours early. Here's the views we've got from the uh, rooftop coffee shop. You can see the city starting to light up. And uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. I definitely need a coffee to wake up, that's for sure. All right, guys, I just did the Wi Fi test here. Pretty good. 41 uh, download speed and 60 upload speed. So that can actually take care of all the needs we have right now. So this is going to get us some proper hydration. We got some coffee here. We've got some uh, lemon mint juice. And then, of course, a must, a nice Petra beer. Whoa, 10% alcohol. I'm going to be drunk after this. That's risky. I thought these were 5%. Uh oh. Well, see you tomorrow then. Let's try this one. Oh. It's a nice flavor. It's like a mojito without alcohol. How's that one, bro? I thought I ordered a smoothie, but it's like a milkshake. I'm not complaining. Mm, Suck then, bro. Yeah. Zane milkshake. Yeah, well, uh, oh, that is good, though. Coffee's good. It's black and rich. I, I've already had a little drink of it, and I'm feeling pretty wired. <sighs> it is good. So, guys, we spent the last just uh, maybe two hours or so just catching up on some work. So, that's where we're going to go ahead and end this. I just wanted to show you what the internet cafes are like here. I was pleasantly surprised to see how good the Wi Fi is here, way out uh, near Petra. So, great news if you need to have connectivity, you got the option. At this place, they do play a lot of music, so just keep that in mind. Bring those headphones. That's something I didn't do. But yeah, that's where I'll close this video. So, if you guys have enjoyed this one, I would love it if you could smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos both here in Jordan and all around the world, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you guys in the next one.